Steve, Steve up. He says, Hey guys, I have a question about expired domains. I want to buy expired domains and make a link wheel. What is a safe way to buy them? Do you need to hide when buying domains for a link wheel? I mean, can I use my same name and credit card and registrar account to buy all my expired domains? How to hide from Google that one person owns all the domains in a link wheel is enabling who is protection and using Cloudflare to hide the hosting IP enough. Thanks for any help on this. I have found it that that's, that's all I, you know, I do. I, I mean, I buy almost all of my domains unless I'm buying from an auction, um, which I, I still do occasionally, but usually I'm just going out and scraping my own domains now and just registering them through just Namecheap. Um, for the most part, if I'm going to develop the domain out, then I will often buy it or register it through Google domains um, because I think that's a kind of a, a validation signal, like a, a trust builder right off the bat. If it's, so if it's a domain that I'm going to build out for like a money site, um, then I'll, I'll often register it through Google domains. But if it's something that I'm going to build out for SEO purposes, um, like what I'm doing for rebuilding, you know, domains with the pro appropriate topical trust flow that I need, what, you know, the, the topical relevance that I need, that just happens to be the metric that can, can tell me that. Um, then oftentimes I'm just doing it right through Namecheap. And I just, yes, I enable who is. Um, and then, you know, Cloudflare can help with IP diversity. Uh, well, somewhat, like, for example, I'm doing a ton of stuff as cloud hosted pages. So, you know, Rackspace and uh, Amazon S3, and um, more recently, some Vulture, Linode, DigitalOcean, so those types of uh, companies, and there's limited amounts of IPs. So, you know, if you also include Cloudflare for that, then that gives you like, you know, a way to basically double or, you know, vastly increase your IP pool because of, you know, uh, Cloudflare having IPs, different IPs. But another one, a good one for that, for just IP diversity is using Amazon Route 53 for your DNS. Uh, because they'll give you dynamic IPs, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm sure it's still a range of IPs, but it's interesting because it like the IP changes. Uh, you can refresh like what is my um, site's IP. You know, go go look at one of those types of tools and put the domain in that's got Amazon Route 53 as the DNS, and you'll refresh. And not all it's, it's you know I don't know what the frequency is, but when you refresh, sometimes you'll see the IP change, and so that just gives some IP diversity. But as far as specifically what you're talking about with the link wheel. Um, you know, I, I'm not having any issues with just registering domains um, with who is protection on. And most of, most of them are in Namecheap. And, um, and then, like I said, I'm using cloud hosting, which has limited IPs, a limited IP pool for each cloud hosting provider that I'm using. Uh, but then you can add a, another layer onto that with either, like I said, Amazon Route 53 or Cloudflare or something like that. And it gives you another set of IPs to pull from. So, but I haven't really had any problems with that. I haven't seen any negative effects from using the same domain uh, registrar uh, with who is protection on. So don't be scared. I mean, test with it, obviously, but I, I haven't had any issues with that.